What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to whatever the hell this ship is called. I don't even remember anymore. We're on our way back to Marshall Waits so that we can shoot him in the face with our gun because he abandoned us with the alien and then left us. What the hell was that? What was that? This place definitely just rumbled. Also, there's save points everywhere. I feel nervous. I don't like it when my entire space station goes bum bum like a heart. It's a little bit event horizon for me. It's a little bit event horizon for me. I start to get nervous. I'm not ready for these sorts of engagements yet. I don't want to fight a sentient ship. I could barely deal with a shiny alien thing. My god. If you wanted to add more to this problem. No thanks to Waits. <sighs> He's a ruthless son of a bitch, always has been. Stubborn too. If he'd ever listened to me, things would never have gone this far. It's done now. I'm sorry for fucking up with the lockdown earlier. Forget it. You got me out in the end. I'll see you back at the Bureau. Okay. So more- wow, I left a lot of stuff in here. I feel kind of dumb about this. I left a bunch of good stuff in here. Although I still- I always have too much bonding agent. I always have too much SCJ injector. I don't know why that is, but I always just have too much of it. The smoke bomb- I can make a smoke bomb in real life, use sugar. But it's a little bit more complicated than that, and I don't want to be liable for explaining to, you know, 14 year olds how to make a smoke bomb. You can find it on the internet if you really, really want to. I wouldn't recommend it. You might blow your hands off or something. And then you're gonna feel really, really dumb when you have one hand for- Dum dum. I'm just saying, use common sense. Like when I was a kid, I had a copy of the Anarchist Cookbook and my friends and I very nearly killed ourselves like a hundred times. So wait, what's going on? How are they inside the Marshall Bureau? Oh, that's all bad. Can they shoot me through that gate? Shit, yes they can. Okay. Alright, they can shoot through the gate. I don't think they can get through the gate, though. So it's only slightly useful to them that they can fire at me through the gate. Now, it looks like there's some kind of thingy over here. What is this? The door is locked. Great! The story of my life. Big plans, places to go. The door is locked. Welcome to Splattercat's life. So what about maybe going through here or something? Is this openable? No. I'm going to save real fast because if I get shot, I don't want to walk all the way back here. I'm so lazy. Like half the time when I get frustrated about dying, it's not even the fact that I got killed that irritates me. It's just the walk back. I hate walking back to things. Like in EverQuest back in the day when you died, oh my god. And some of the zones were like super big. You could lose your corpse off in the middle of nowhere and just never see it again. And it was so disappointing when that happened. I mean, it was kind of a noob mistake. Definitely a case of, like, don't fly what you can't replace. Exact same thing in EverQuest, but... Did, did they reset? Okay, it looks like they reset. I guess they're... I don't know what they're doing in there. Maybe setting things on fire? Setting things on fire can be entertaining at times, but there's definitely a time for things to be on fire, and there's a time for things to not be on fire, I guess. And that sounded a whole lot more poetical in my head, but unfortunately... So, restore power to the Galleria. Oh, uh, robot, why have you done this to me? I bet it opens that shutter over there on the other side. He always fires twice, and so I think we've got an opening right there. Yeah, he fires twice, then you've got an opening. I'm so happy that I don't have to worry, like, worry about... Wait, what? I'm so happy that I don't have to worry about an alien showing up, like, every time this happens. Like, somebody shoots a gun at me, and I'm just like, Ah, you buffoon! You've killed us all, damn you! I like how the alien has its own... I'm sorry, I like how the little robots have their own crawl spaces. That's pretty cool. 
I like the little robots. I like robots. I have a thing for robots. I don't know. They're awesome. Who doesn't like robots? Bicentennial Man makes me cry every time. Every time. <laughs> oh, God. You should see. Oh, it's so hilarious. Like, my mom gets super emotional about movies. And the first time she saw Crash, oh, my God. Like, we were in a theater with my mom when she saw Crash. And if you don't know, the, there's a part in the movie that's, like, really sad where a little girl gets shot. My mom was bawling. Like seriously, we almost we had to almost take her out of the theater because she was be she was just, like weeping. She was <laughs> you couldn't console her. It was it was funny, but it was also just like, "Oh my god, mom, calm down. You're going to like I don't know, you're going to give yourself like an infarction or something. It's just a movie, mom." <laughs> like just weeping. Like you know in a about to rain on the parade. Something's up with the androids. Something's been up with the damn androids since I got here. No, this is new. They've left their posts. I just saw some of them in the public area. That's not normal. Great. Watch your back. Awesome. Let's open a whole bunch of random doors. <laughs> but yeah, she was inconsolable during that part of the movie. That's like the most... You know how in anime when characters cry, like waterfalls come out of their eyes? It was like that. It was bad. Like, she didn't need just, like, a hanky to wipe her face with and her nose with. It was done. It was over. Like, we almost had to leave. It <laughs> like, that part is definitely sad. And, you know, you get, like, a little lump in your throat. But ultimately, it's a movie. It's a movie. Like, it's sad, but it's a film. Like, I can't... It's fake. It's not real. <laughs> I suppose I should start using this motion scanner to figure out where my lovely friends are. It seems like humans are now going to become the new enemy. I like the black light outfit you got going on in here. Unfortunately, I don't think anybody's going to be enjoying these dranky dranks anymore. Hell, we could stock up. I mean, it seems like they've got enough ethanol here for all of us. Just saying. Maybe get ourselves... They've also got ketchup. Who doesn't enjoy ketchup? Or catsup, as especially fancy people like to say. Who doesn't enjoy just guzzling some catsup every now and again? Glug, 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 glug. Not me, actually. That is not a thing that I enjoy. I don't know when anyone will get this, but someone needs to keep a record, and I don't know. I came here a few months ago to write about the collapse of a dream, a future gone sour. For me, the people here were little more than footnotes for my article. Something to tug at the heartstrings. And when the disappearances started, oh, I was thrilled. This was something big. But now people are afraid, and a communication fault means we're alone. I'm trapped here, just like everybody else. Another footnote. Another victim. Well, that's what you get for getting excited at the thought of other people's misfortunes. Like, it's called karma. That's why every time you hear that something bad happened to somebody else, you should be like, oh, that totally sucks, and I feel so sorry for them. Because it limits the chance. I don't believe in karma, by the way, but I do think it's funny when people get their just desserts. Like, I, I do... I am one for, I, I really do, like, poetic comeuppances. I can't help it. Deep down, there's just something awesome about, you know, a real ironic downfall for somebody that really, really deserves it. And I know I shouldn't. I'm probably going to end up like this lady one day. That building, okay, so this place seems to be made of fire, so I don't think I want to go in there. Definitely not liking the infrastructure of the fire lodge over there. If you look to your left, you'll see our fire suite where some of our honeymooners like to stay on their weekend. Oh god. The walls are so sticky and fiery. Go back over here. Is there anything even to be looted off over here? Like, I see a bunch of loot nodes and things. But I'm so full up on just about everything that... Since we're going to be up against humans, I think a smoke bomb might be a good plan. Are we full? What just happened? Do I have too many? How does that work? Oh, item maxed. Okay. So maybe we'll go back to the flashbangs then, because flashbangs are good against humans. Humans don't like flashbangs. The banging part doesn't sound so bad, but the... Well, I don't know. If the flashing is followed by a banging, I don't really... I mean, I'm not going to turn down anybody's mating ritual. I mean, do what you got to do in order to get that done. I mean, if you like to start with a flash and then end with a bang, hey, that's all on you. I don't judge. 
Different strokes for different folks. <laughs> strokes. Anyways, I was a big fan of the strokes, by the way. While we're on the subject, I was a really, really big fan. Maybe we have to go in the fire suite. I don't want to go in the fire suite, but it seems like that might be... Well, there's another door over here. Did I already go in there? I did. I did. Restore power. Well, it wasn't accessible through there because the shutters were down. But maybe... No, the shutters were down right there, too. Just kind of retracing my steps visually for a second. So the, other, the only other way we're going to get down there is we got to find another way to... That door was locked. Oh, maybe we can go through the fire suite. I don't know. Let's try. Maybe it'll work out for us. Nope, we can't go through the fire suite. So I'm thinking that our only avenue of escape is going to be through here, and I must have missed something. So, since I must have missed something, let's must have go back and look. Unless that one's open. Oh, good. More treasure. Ooh, compound B. I'm always low on compound B. That sounds good. Yeah. Alright. Compound B. Waka chicka, waka chicka, waka chicka. Now, is this where I came up and in through? Or no? I don't think this is where I came up and in through. So, let me see where this goes. Yeah, I think we're golden right now if we go this... It's Ripley. What's going on with the androids? I don't know. What about the change in alert status? Damn it, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. I find Waits to be incredibly unlikable. The kind of guy that acts like the whole world is on his shoulders even though he contributes like nothing to the overall plan. Like, he makes the plan and then sends other minions to handle it. And then acts like it's everybody else's fault when things go wrong. You know what? If you want something done right, go and do it yourself, pal. You're the one with the badge on your chest. This is kind of your duty. This is like your thing. This is what you're supposed to be doing. And so we gotta pump this thing. Hold on. There we go. Ah, quick time events. Alright, quick time event! Actually, it's not really a quick time event because it doesn't go away if you screw it up. Awesome. What the hell is going on with all that shouting? I hear shouting and I hear screaming. Let's go investigate. No, you're not. I'm going down a vent. Later! Okay, so it seems like the androids have definitely lost their damn minds. As though they ever had one before. We've only come across like three friendly androids in this entire playthrough. So I'm not convinced that they were just going to change their ways all of a sudden. We do have a gun. We do have a fair amount of bullets. But it takes us about a full... It takes us about a full wheel in order to get rid of them all. It's definitely going to take us a full load to get rid of one android at a time. And that's making only headshots. So now my guess is that these shutters might conceivably open. Is that opened again? No. We got nothing going on for us then, huh? Another bonding agent right there. I may try to pipe bomb them. That might work out. I don't know. It's expensive, and I can't promise that it's a plan that's going to go well. Alright, so since we did that... Did it open the main shutters? Like, how did that... It definitely didn't open the ones in the bar, so maybe it opened these shutters over here, possibly? I don't know. Let's go check. We'll investigate. I don't mind being inquisitive every now and again. Oh, good. A whole bunch of bonding agent. Cool. I like bonding agent. Get up in my backpack. Come on, bonding agent. Go. All right. Back up into the climb vent. Here we go. I'm feeling really sort of nervous about being in the vents right now. It's weird how I continue to feel very, very uneasy, even though the alien's gone. Because now, at this point, it's just like a first-person shooter. Who cares? I... I can't decide if the screaming is part of the song that it's playing in the background, or like... We got some more loot, though, so that's good. I like loot. Oh, yeah, there's an alien right there. I'm sorry, not an alien. There's an android right over there. What color is his eyes? 
he's doing stretchy motions, so I think he's ready to get down and throw down. He's got that MMA look in his eyes. That robot MMA contender thing going on. Oh, that's unnerving. Where did he go? I would prefer not to shoot it out with the androids because we don't have the ammo for that predicament. Where in the hell did he go? He was right here a second ago. God. Oh, you weren't supposed to open! Ah! Alright, so I don't know if anybody has a plan right now. Why not ask me about Sevastopol safety protocols? Because I get the feeling that you're not really that interested in explaining them in an amicable way. I feel like you're going to do bad things to me if you catch me. And so now... I am, of course, inclined to assume that you are a hostile to be dealt with. Oh, he's still on me. Okay, so we have an android problem. We got some stun baton. I mean, we definitely got stun baton, so this might work. No, it's not reloaded! Reload the stun baton! Reload the stun baton! Ugh. There we go. There's like a very special proximity that you can zap them through. And so oh, he's fizzling out right now. Let's beat his little albino ass to death. There we go. And so now he's out of the way. He did drop some loot though, so that's good. Let's reload the stun baton. I think it's probably going to be useful from here on out. Can probably make another pipe bomb with all of this stuff we have sitting around. We do have a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and max out the pipe bomb so that I can pick up some of these things over here because there is a lot of loot laying around and I would hate to leave it behind if we can use it right now. I don't know what works against the androids. I kind of want to use a pipe bomb on all of them. They seem to be a bit more observant than the alien. They definitely murdered those guys. That's fine. If it saves me a shootout, I don't care. It says there's two of them very close over there. Mostly I just want ammo off these guys. I don't really care about anything else. I don't feel like fighting them is the best choice right now. Damn, this guy bent over backwards to make him happy and the android still wouldn't allow it. That's what happens. That's like Homer Simpson said, you tried and failed. The moral of the story is never try. Is this even where I want to be right now or am I walking back to where I came from? It looks like I'm getting to some kind of like weird sniper overlook over here. We'll have a look. We'll see what happens. A pity I couldn't be of service. Where did that come from? I don't like it when things talk and I can't see them. So what, pray tell, does this do for me over here? I guess it's just like another lootable area or something. Okay, that's fine. Having looted it, I shall bid it. Addy Addy Ooh. Oh, we're actually like in a promenade type thing. Okay. Your neck doesn't look healthy, man. You might want to see a chiropractor. He's like, I did. The synthetic told me it was a chiropractor. Now I can't move my legs or my arms or my eyelids. This is not good. I don't suppose that we have any plan here t for how to deal with this. Severe cranial neck injuries. You know this isn't going to work. There's no way that we're going to make this. And if we do, I will be incredibly surprised. Honestly, I don't know where we're going right now. I need to figure out a path to get around. It looks like there's an android dock. Oh, I could have popped in from right there, I guess. But over there is looking pretty well engulfed.
I like his little power dance right there. He's I can do it. Dink -a -dink -a -dink -a -dink -a push it to the limit. I hope you're not talking about me. All that I really wanted to do was be friends. Zeppity. Die! Somebody just said they heard that, though. That makes me less than trusting of... What the hell is that? Who are you? I'm just gonna zap you because I don't know who you are. So unfortunately... Oh no! Don't attack allies or civilians. What?! He charged me! He was coming right at me! Uncle Jimbo taught me, if it's coming right at you, shoot it! Oh man, how much farther back did this take us? Oh, what? Oh, come on. No, for one civilian? What about a warning? Like, don't be a murderer. Hey, murder is wrong. It looked like he was going to charge me and tackle me. It looked like a threatening gesture. <sighs> Hate this. Mm. <laughs> All right. Well, we got to restore power to the thingamadoobie. And then, unfortunately, I just wasted a whole bunch of time. So, unfortunately, make another pipe bomb. Because I know we did that. And then where was the thingy that we had to, like, touch and fondle? Oh, that's right. We had to go through, like, a floor thing over here, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait, it's Ripley. What's going on with the androids? What's going on with the androids? All kinds of crazy stuff. Damn it, I don't know. I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing at. Apollo's decided it wants to be the boss. It's sick of your shenanigans. It's ready to take over control. I'm going to put this right here. Yes. Absolutely. And then what I'm going to do is take that ID tag. Unless you're a psychologist, and then it's an id tag. I'm just saying. Not to be confused with the super id card. And we'll bring that back over here. And it looks like they're having a firefight with the androids. Maybe this time I'll watch. Hold on, don't close the door. I'm trying to watch right. No! Oh, you idiot. No! Why would you do that? I blew up a civilian? Oh, man. I'm pretty sure that guy had a gun. Okay, so apparently I can't use any of my Trixies right now because I'll blow people to nasty little bits, and unfortunately the game doesn't like that. After <laughs> The game has spent its entire time killing civilians, but somehow it has a problem with me doing it. Let's not point out the ironies here. Alright. So... <laughs> oh god, I thought they were, they were shooting guns. I thought they were bad guys. Fine, I'm not gonna watch. I'm just gonna let the androids kill them. Let's go back. Let's do this yet again. Jesus. Wait, it's Ripley. What's going on with the androids? I don't know. I got the change in alerts there. I'm feeling a little bit disappointed. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to contact Samuels. Maybe he knows what the hell Apollo is playing. When people run at me, it makes me scared, and so then I blow them into little tiny flaming bits of human, little pork bits. And so in this situation, I felt threatened, and so, I don't know, the moral of the story is stop threatening me, and then maybe civilians will stop dying. Alright, my e-mashing skill has gotten really, really good. I can't decide if her watch is like a grounding watch, like we used to have in the IT office, or like what it is. It hasn't done anything this far. The alien's telling people to hold still. I don't think that you can lean and then fire. No, you can't. I mean, 
shove another shell inside this thing real fast. The shotgun's like, mm, do another, do another. There should be all kinds of chaos like happening in this room right now. And I don't see any reason why I have to be involved in it. Oh, I'm involved. No! I don't, I don't enjoy you. You know that, Android? I don't enjoy your bullshit right now. If I die again right here, I'm going to be so disappointed with this game. Oh my god, there's another. There's another. He's punching me in the head. Let's run away right now, and then we're going to reload the stun baton. I'm, you're starting to test my patience. Oh my god, this went so much worse than the other times. Well, I don't see any reason why a pipe bomb would not work right here. And so down goes the pipe bomb, and then we're going to come over here, and we're just going to watch you get blowed the hell up. Yeah! Enjoy that. What do you want now? Where are you at now? Oh, you don't want none? You're going to lay on the floor and just be all smoky? Yep, that's what I thought. Engineering. Engineering, my friend. Welcome to science, bitch. I'm not, I'm not excited about this right now. Medikit faster. I hope they chase after him and not me. Okay, so here we go, firefight. Bring the pain. That did not work nearly as well as I expected it to. It might have been that guy's skills with bulletproof helmetry. I really hope that there's no access from behind me because that will suck. I think he ran for it. Pretty sure he decided to boogie. I like the revolver better. I'm going to go with that. Oh, it's unloaded. Oh, he's got body armor. Oh, ain't that the business. That is troublesome. Okay, since he's got body armor, I'm just going to bail the hell on out now. There's somebody standing right there? Definitely looks like there's somebody standing right there, but I think it might be one of the guys that I'm not supposed to murder. So wait, where did the shotgunner guy come from? Oh, he came from right here. Okay. I don't know what the hell this is. They're not just responding to trespass violations. It's like they're hunting. For who? For everyone and anyone. What do you mean? Stand by. Okay, so we got problems that way. Tell me which way I need to go right now. Tell me the way to go home. I'm tired and I don't want to be dead. Okay, so we're going to turn around. We're going to take a left. Which is precisely what I was worried about. There is so much movement happening right now. Why do you have so many sensors? It's like walking around with a fistful of sensors. Alright, so we got the blasting cap. That way is not accessible. Because I'm too busy giving you the zappination, my friend. There we go. Another android down. It's nice to finally use all of these lovely little bits and bobs that I've had the entire game. What's on the other side of this wall? A whole bunch of something. 
hopefully civvies. People who are not armed and people who do not have large caliber rifles that will shoot me in the face. Oh, tell me this sh I've got some security shutters in my way. Can you open them? Waits. You bastards, you murdering bastards! Leave them alone! Stand down! You shouldn't be here. You'll be coming in stairs. You bastards! Waits! Waits! Well... The plan has failed, and I'm not I'm not sure I want to go in there anyways. This doesn't seem to agree with me very much. So we got a cooler full of revolver rounds. What's revolver rounds in a cooler? Have I touched on this already? It says there's somebody in here, but I don't see them. They must be overhead. What does this do? Nothing? That's shut off. My guess is that maybe one of these has like a a sub passage in it or something. Restore power. Okay. Restore power. So in order to get through there, we have to restore power somehow. My foot is very, very asleep right now, strangely enough. Find an alternative route. Oh, it's telling me where to go. Okay. Well, no, never mind. I saw that already. There's got to be a vent around here, something that I've missed. Let me take a look around. Vent? I promise I won't be violent while I climb inside you. I promise. There's no vent over here, and if you show yourself, I think we'll all get along much, much better than we are right now. You're not going to kill me, are you? Like, you don't have a firearm? I'm guessing that since you've seen me... Oh, good, this guy's over here. Well, then. That leaves me with very little choice. So I think what I'm going to do... Actually, I can't guarantee... Now, there we go. Got him. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to kill him with a bullet. And so I was just trying to make sure. Like, he's got a lot of armor on right now. He's got, like, a stormtrooper thing going on. And so I wasn't sure that he was going to be susceptible to that kind of violence. Keep an eye out for anything else that might be on top of us. I would love to get a few more charge packs or something. Okay, unfortunately, I'm sorry, a few more reloads for my stun baton. Because it does seem to be one of the only reasonable ways to slow down the androids. So where am I now? I'm in the Galleria. Probably walked right past that previously. That actually did not fill out that much information. That's not able to be opened either, but there is an ID tag. Okay. Ah. So that puts me back here. Definitely people running around. Okay, so I think, I don't know, we may have found some kind of refuge and shelter. I think I'm going to break the episode off right here because we got a save point. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Alien Isolation. Although I guess we should just revise it and call it Isolation at this point because this looks like the sleep area for everybody. I seem, I remember these vaguely where people go to sleep on the ships or something. I'll see you all later. Take care everybody. Hi-do!